I recently built this rack for these DR9 tubes and I wanna to try to get a better idea of how these tubes expand in the event of a failure. So I've just got this single tube on this board, gonna test it out and see the results. I've tested out these DR11 tubes quite a bit, but I've never tested out the DR9 tubes, so I can't wait to see how they hold up. I'm gonna be remote firing this because I don't wanna be anywhere near it when it goes off. This ended up not being as bad as I thought it was going to be, so I'm going to take this off the board and we'll get a closer look. I don't really see any sort of deformity in the tube itself. It did start to push out the wood plug because this was flush before the test. And then lastly, there's this little charred spot where the tube was sitting. I was originally surprised by this result, but the more and more I thought about it, it actually makes a lot of sense because these DR9 tubes have a slightly thicker wall than the DR11 tubes that I'm used to. And probably more importantly, the fireworks that I'm using in these tubes, they're a lot smaller than the canister shells that I've tested in the past. I know this test was pretty circumstantial. I might have got a different result if I used a different brand of fireworks. Even with all that, I still thought it was a pretty nice test to see how these tubes hold up. And like always, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.